Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to start showing strategies for short selling. Uh, it is not time to start selling uh, bit, uh, short selling Bitcoin or any altcoins uh, at this moment, especially Bitcoin. You will know why in a minute. But for this reason, I'm going to uh, be using as an example the chart for Bitcoin versus USD one day candles from Bitstamp during the bear market back in 2014. I can show you the examples here because in the 2017 current chart it's not time to start short selling yet the reason for it is because you only start short selling when the moving averages cross indicating a downtrend uh, for this example i'm using the 50 day and 20 day moving averages the red line is the 20 day moving average and the blue line is the 50 day moving average uh, this is different uh, than the lines that you would use for regular stocks but I'm not gonna go into that right now because that would be for a separate video uh, just know that uh, for Bitcoin I'm using the 50 and 20 day moving average now before we start understand that short selling is more risky than going long why? because if you buy if you go long or buy Bitcoin for example here for $900 you buy one Bitcoin for $900 because for whatever reason you think it's gonna go up but then you are wrong and it goes down uh, all you can lose is $900 right because when it hits zero you cannot lose any more money it, it cannot go below that but if you open a short position for Bitcoin at $500 because you for whatever reason think that Bitcoin is gonna go down but then you are wrong and it goes up it could go up indefinitely which means you could lose an infinite amount of money okay there's no top uh, where it could stop technically uh, because in reality of course nothing goes up forever and actually it wouldn't be an infinite amount of money because uh, enabled to open a short position you need to have some money in your account or the broker is not gonna let you open that position so uh, once that amount is reached and you don't have more money in that account the broker is gonna force you to close that position or in other words they're gonna close uh, your position immediately so uh, there's actually a, a limit in uh, the money that you can lose but that could be all the money that you have in your account instead of only the amount of money that the stock was worth at that time I hope this is clear and now we can start okay so say we are here and the moving averages just crossed you don't only want to wait for the moving averages to cross but you want to make sure you're actually below moving averages because for example moving averages here uh, they crossed before signaling a downtrend but the price was right on the moving averages so this is not a good entry to start shorting you have to wait until the moving averages cross and actually you are well well below moving averages so this would be a good signal you're well below uh, moving averages and they crossed so say for example that we are here you've seen the moving averages cross two days ago and you're below moving, moving average and now you want to start shorting because you want to start profiting from the downtrend now how do you know where this uh, where the price is going to stop retracing and it's going to bounce back up because you want to get the maxim, maximum profit possible and you want to uh, take your profit right uh, when it's starting to bounce back up so to get an estimate of that we use the Fibonacci retracement tool as the, as the name says, is Fibonacci retracement because you want to find out where the wave is going to be retracing to. Like you want to know the end of the retracement. So to do that, uh, we click on the previous wave. So you can identify the waves like wave, uh, this is point A in this wave, then this is point B, and this is point C. Okay, A, B, C, this is one wave. And then another starts A, B, C okay and then another starts A B C so in this last one you want to use the Fibonacci retracement tool so we click in A where the candle closes and B at the top of the wave where the candle closes there you go now it's going to give you a few estimates here so let's mark that you have one Fibonacci retracement here another Fibonacci line down here and another Fibonacci line all the way down here so this is where the wave uh, could actually stop retracing and bouncing back, back up 
Now, if it bounces in the first one, uh, you're not gonna make much profit, so I'm gonna forget about this one. You wouldn't enter the trade if it bounces there. But like, let's take the other two. Now, you don't take only one indicator, one single indicator, in this case, the Fibonacci retracement. You don't, you don't only look at one single indicator. You need to have uh, different indicators uh, pointing to that uh, the, the wave will actually stop retracing there. So what else do we, what else we can see here are these level support lines as well well you can see here this one was a support and this one was a support as well two candles closing here and this one here so they are valid support lines it it means the price could be bouncing in in either of them and they will probably do it because we have the fibonacci retracement tool plus the support lines indicating the price is very very likely to bounce there now, this will depend uh, very much on your uh, risk capacity. I am personally very conservative, so I would probably bet for the first line. I wouldn't risk it going all the way, way down and maybe missing this first line. So I would take my profit if I was to enter this position, I would automatically sell on this uh, line to take my profits. Now, if I was to do that, I want to see what's my uh, risk reward ratio and for this we use the short position tool and we click where where are we actually entering the trade where i'm anticipating that i'm going to enter the trade i'm going to enter the trade right where we are right now right here i would enter the trade right now and i would be taking my profits in the first line so let's use the short position tool because we're going short not long and we click where we enter here and now we drag this green area to where I'm gonna take my profits and we drag the red area where I'm gonna take my losses. If I am wrong, what's my risk capacity? I, I, how much I'm willing to, to risk here if I'm wrong? So I'm gonna risk it here. Uh, if the price goes above this level, uh, then I consider myself to be wrong. I was wrong already and I'm gonna take my loss, okay? that's how i would do this trade now let's see what was actually uh how much is actually this uh, risk reward let me drag it so i can see so uh the short position tool is telling me that my risk reward re risk reward ratio it's at two to two point two two point twenty two so i could i could make two and I would, if I lose, I would lose one, more or less. So if I, if I lose, I lose uh, five, 75%. And if I win, I win 12, 75%. So this will depend on your risk reward, uh, you know, your risk capacity, how much you're willing to risk and, and to win. I usually, I always recommend to only enter trades uh, where the risk reward ratio is three. This one in this case is 222. So in uh, reality, I don't know if I would take this straight, but for this example, you can, uh, <clears throat> you know, adapt this to your risk uh, reward capacity. Now let's see what happened in the future. So we've seen that the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool was very, very accurate because we had this uh, first, uh, first Fibonacci level where the price actually bounced here and for the more risky people that would have they would have taken the the line below it would have bounced perfectly there as well so they would have made if you were more risky in this you would have made almost not, almost 20 percent profit taking your profit in the last fibonacci line so you can see these tools are accurate now moving on because you don't want to stop here uh making profits right you want to uh to continue to make profit from this bear market so let's delete everything and only leave the line where the price bounced okay but now we are here the line held the price and start bouncing up so now we're here we don't know what's coming in the future now we want to continue to profit from the downtrend so now we need to know where this wave will finish impulsing up and it will bounce back down so that we can open an, another short position up here how do we know where this wave uh, will finish going up and bounce back down for this we use the fibonacci extension tool 
we grab the Fibonacci extension too and we do basically the same but this time three clicks we have to click where the previous wave started at the top of the wave and where the wave just finished so A B at the top of the wave where the candle closes and C where uh, the wave finished retracing. What do we get here? We have a few lines up. So let's mark these lines. Possible line here, okay. Possible line up here, which I don't think because it's down trending, and another possible line down here. So if it goes all the way down, all the way up here, it would be like almost like uptrending again. So let's discard this one. We don't, we're not interested in this one. Now the next two lines. It makes sense because we have the moving averages right around where the Fibonacci levels are. So because uh, because moving averages act as a support and resistance as well, either of these lines could be correct. But actually, the 20-day moving average is already below. Uh, the first Fibonacci level, so it's more likely that the price will bounce in the next one, which is which will be more or less when it will meet with the moving average as well. So the the Fibonacci level and the moving average they will meet somewhere around here a few days later. So that's more likely to happen. Now let's see if they are support and resistance lines as well. This one down here, it's not really any support and resistance, so we don't have uh, much evidence that will bounce there. Let's this let delete this one, and let's see the other one. It's actually support here, support here, resistance here is actually a confirmed uh, support and resistance line. So there's there we have our support and resistance line that it's going to act as a resistance the moving average which will act as a resistance as well and our Fibonacci extension tool telling us that there's a Fibonacci line right there as well so that's three indicators telling us that the price uh, is likely to bounce back down there so let's see what happened in the future how accurate this is it bounced right where the moving average and this uh, Fibonacci level met uh, which was also a resistance line from the past here. So bingo, there you have it. Now we see that it started bouncing. Okay, let's see the two, three days passed after this, say two days, it started bouncing. So we were right in our uh, entry, uh, entry target. So, okay, let's go ahead and enter here. Now we can delete the rest of the lines and tools. And we enter here. How do we know where this will finish retracing? So just like we did before, Fibonacci uh, retracement tool, uh, bottom of the wave, point A to top of the wave, point B. Okay, so what do we get here? Same thing, a few levels. Let's grab the first level down because I'm conservative. I'm not gonna risk going under this. So if I enter there, and I have my profit target there. Let's see if I go with the short position tool, how much is my risk reward ratio? Since I am entering here because it's already uh, bouncing, so I would enter right now. My, uh, my uh, reward would be here and my, uh, my risk of losing, my stop loss, I would stop it right here, okay? If it goes uh, beyond this, uh, this other resistance line, uh, then it means I was wrong and I would close the trade uh, losing the minimum money possible. So let's put this here and see what's my risk reward ratio in this case before I enter the trade. So my risk reward ratio is 5.15, uh, which means I'm going to be making uh, way more than three times more money if I win than uh, the money that I would lose if I was wrong. So if I lose, I'm going to lose 6.50% and if I win I'm going to be winning 33.50%. That's a very good risk reward ratio. I would for sure enter this trade. So let's see what happened in the future. And the line indeed bounced here and how accurate these tools are. It started it didn't quite bounce but it consolidated right on my profit target. And then it went even down below, but because as I say, I'm a conservative, I'm, I'm taking my, my profit here. So I would have made 33.50% profit. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to leave this tutorial here because I don't want to make it super long. I hope this, were, this was clear. Uh, please leave your comments down below. I'm going to start doing a series of more advanced shorting techniques. And that, that would be, uh, it's going to be private videos that you would be able to download for a price. Don't worry, it's not going to be expensive. I'm not here to rip anyone off. But of course, I'm going to be able to do this for free only for so long until I, I lose interest and I quit. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.